Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we are back. We got a good one. We're going to get into today's fight between Diego Pacheco and Marcelo Cosetas. Uh, it's a really interesting fight. Um, I was going back and forth on how to bet on this. I I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. I'll uh, show you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble here, uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you a way to bring down the house. We use DraftKings. I'm in Texas. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, but if you do gamble on boxing, I'm gonna, if you do gamble on sports, I'm going to show you how to make money on this because this is a, this is a home run to make money on. Um, and you can, well, boxing is. And you can, they don't, the odds makers, the bookmakers, they don't know what they're doing. And I'm going to show you how to consistently make money on boxing, on betting boxing. All right. Uh, please also sub subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. Let's get into, uh, that's completely dedicated to autism research and recovery. Uh, all right. Let's get in. Completely dedicated to Texas boxing. I'm sorry. And all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. That's Texas boxing scene on YouTube. I'm tired, guys. It's been a long week. Um, all right. Let's get into today's show. Uh, Diego Pacheco is one of the Eddie Hearn's prized possessions. He's good. He's big. He's strong. Um, he's long. He gets a lot of knockouts. A lot of his knockouts have ended early in his recent fights. Um there's a lot to like about him. He's fighting Marcelo Caceres. A common opponent there uh, will be uh, I'm sorry, Pacheco. I'm losing my brain. Caceres has also uh, fought Berlanga. He went the distance with Berlanga. Uh, he made Berlanga look a little bad. I, I, I think Pacheco is a better prospect um, than Berlanga. Um, I, I don't think they're worlds apart. I think Berlanga was so overrated, and then, like, the, the world turned on him. I think he's actually a little underrated now. And uh, Pacheco is good. Um, he's not really been tested. Um, you know, he's got, you know, a bunch of quick knockouts in a row. Um, the last time he really went, he went eight rounds with Lucas De Brew. Um, that was in 2021. 20, that was when Mikey Garcia lost to Sandra Martinez. It was that card. Uh, that's the last time he, he went round. A long, you know, since then, he's got a bunch of pretty quick wins. Uh, and in that, that a brew fight, it was still stoppage, but he stopped in the eighth round. Uh, the last time he went the distance was uh, Shotgun Gomez. Wow, that's a long time ago. Shot, Rodolfo Gomez from Laredo, Texas. That was back in... 2021 as well. Okay, so he, that's, that's the last time he went the distance. Um, yeah, I was just pulling up his box rack. Right? This, it, it, you know, he's a really he's a good prospect. He's not busy. He's very selective in his shots. You know, he he doesn't waste a lot, but I think he gives too much up. Like he's so unbusy. Uh, I, I think he needs to throw more. Um, look. The, the average of his last six fights is only three and a half rounds. So when I show you the over under, I'm going to explain why I'm taking the over, and I'm going to take the over on rounds. Um, he's got a sharp jab. He's good. He's a good prospect. He's got good power. He Obviously, his height and his reach is, is his advantage. He fights tall. He uses his, his natural advantages. Um, he's an, also an excellent finisher, by the way. Um, he just developed recently this little stab jab to the body, which I, I think he should use here. I think that that's going to come in uh, in handy here. Coceres gave – we're getting to Coceres now – who gave Berlanga all he could handle. It was a, a really good fight. That was the fight after Berlanga uh, had his knockout streak stopped, I believe. He also gave Billy Joe Saunders uh, hell for – what was it, about – 10 rounds, and then stopped him in the 11th. Uh, one of the judges had him up. It was 96-94 on all three cards. Two had him in favor of Saunders. One had it in front of Coceres. It was that kind of fight. And Billy Joe Saunders had the world on the line in that fight, too. Now, Coceres has lost a bunch of time since, but he's only 32. He seems a lot older than that. Um, he's lost a couple of fights. So what's interesting is he, he didn't get knocked out by Berlanga or Eric Bizanian. But he was knocked out by Billy Joe Sanders. So he went to Dizzy Belanga, not so much with Billy Joe. Although the Billy Joe fight was 12 and he got knocked out in the 11th. So he did go 10 rounds with both those guys. Um, and then he went Bizanian, uh, the Canadian prospect. He fought him in Montreal on one of those Ayatollah cards. 
what Ted Rodgers did not look good in that fight. That was the one where he really looked outclassed. And uh, Bizanian is a good-looking prospect. He's 31 and 0 now. Uh, originally from Armenia, now he fights out of Canada. Uh, he just beat Ronald Ellis. Um, that was the one where he really looked outclassed. Uh, but Bizanian might be better than people are giving him credit for. Um, he had a fight with Alantes Fox where he may have gotten lucky in that decision. That was right after the Coseras victory. Um, but Coseras got Billy Joe Saunders to fight off the front foot, right? He got Billy Joe Saunders. He, he makes you fight his fight. Uh, you know, he, he dictates the pace. He dictates the terms. He's really good at that. I mean, he's not your typical Argentine fighter. You know, he's basic. Yo, but he, but he can box. You know, it's, it, 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 it's, you know, jab, mix in the right hand. You know, he's basic, but he's high level basic. He's a good fighter. Um, he goes to the body well too. You know, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of non punchers, and he's a non puncher. Don't go to the body. Um, so it's not part of what they do. He goes to the body well. Um, I want you to look out for his eye swelling, too, because he had really, really, really bad eye swelling in the Berlanga fight. Uh, you know, I, I want you guys to keep an eye out for that, too. Um, he's he's completely off the back foot, right? Like, you know, he, he, when he got in trouble with Saunders, was when Saunders decided that he was going to not be off the front foot. And then they were circling, right? And and when, when Caceres tried to come forward, you know, uh, Billy Joe came in on an angle and hit him and, and stopped him. It would knock him down. He got up. Then he hit him with his, his amazing uppercut drop for a second time. So he's, he's rugged. He, he's durable. And this is why I, I think the fight's going to go deep. Um, I, I'm, I'm still torn on whether or not it's going to be a stoppage or not. Um, Caceres is an excellent counterpuncher. And we've seen Pacheco fight coming and going uh, on the front foot and on the back foot. <clears throat> His last couple of fights, um, he uses his height and he usually, you know, will keep you at bay. He'll, he'll stick that long jab at you and set up the right hand, or he'll let it come with you and and he'll he'll, he'll fire the right hand when you're trying to close the distance. So Pacheco can do both. Uh, Caceres has to go backwards. So my guess is Pacheco will bring the action, and Caceres is a good counter puncher. So it's going to be interesting. I, I do think Pacheco is going to figure him out. I do think Pacheco is going to win the fight, but I think it's an interesting main event. Um, I, I don't think this is going to be a blow. I know a lot of you guys look at his name like, why Caceres? It's like, well, I, I would ask the question why. Caceres has no name value. Half of y'all had to go look him up and see that he is the one that went that, that, that gave Billy Joe trouble, right? So I, I, I think it, it, the fight's going to be more difficult um, than a lot of people are expecting, although I, I, I do expect uh, Pacheco to be victorious. The odds, I think, are insane when you look at um, Pacheco, who's minus 1,800. I mean, this should be a three or a four to one fight. This is not a minus, you know, minus 300, minus 400. This is not minus 1,800. You know, if I was setting the book on this, I, I, I'd have, you know, uh, Pacheco minus 350 and, uh, you know, Caceres plus 300 or something like that. My, maybe minus 400 for Pacheco and plus 300 for Caceres. It's a fight like that. These odds are wide. I, I do think he's going to win, so I'm going to make – this is not much to bet. So I'm going to – the bet I like a little bit is over seven and a half. You know, uh, I, I know a lot of people are going to go the under because, like I said, his last six fights have only averaged three and a half rounds, but this is a different type of fighter. This is a high IQ fighter. Who makes you fight his fight? He's a good counter puncher. He's off the back foot. He can frustrate you. And Pacheco is not ultra aggressive, right? Like he takes his time. He doesn't throw much. He's very selective in his shots, right? And this could be a fight where Caceres went in some rounds too, and before he gets out. But I do ultimately think that Pacheco is going to win this fight. Now the only question is, does he stop him late, or does he uh, go the distance? I, I think. Both are equal kind of chances of happening. I think there's two possibilities. It's kind of 50-50. Is Pacheco wins on points? Pacheco wins a, de uh, a decision. So if that's the case, you guys might – I'm not doing this officially, but you might want to do this and make another one times bet because it pays really well. It is it, $100 on, on Pacheco to win by a decision. It's paying, it's paying $170. Uh, 
but officially, I'm just taking Pacheco on the money line and over the seven and a half. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie. comes at you and shows you how to make money on every card and every fight. Uh, it's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. It is November 18th. It is fight night 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.